hello, um, hi, um, Leonie, um, um, Uncle Jim and Tabitha and Amelia, um, um I just, because I haven't seen you for so long, I just wanted to read Tabitha and Amelia, um, a story. And the story's called The Two Months. There was once a monster that lived quietly on the west side of the mountain. On the east side of the mountain lived another monster. Sometimes the monsters spoke together through a hole in the mountain, but they never saw each other. One evening, the first one was crawled through the hole. Can you see how beautiful it is? The day is departing. Day departing, called back the second monster. You mean night arriving, you twit. Don't call me a twit, you dumbo, or I'll get angry <laughs> from the first monster and he felt so angry that he couldn't hard that he could hardly sleep. The other monster felt felt just as irritated and he slept very badly as well. The next morning the first monster felt awful after such a bad night. He shouted through the hall, Wake up you love school night is leaving. Don't be stupid you pea brain. Up to the second. That is day arriving and with that he picked up a stone and threw it over the mountain. Rod and shot you back in the bar, must call the first monster as the stone missed him. He picked up a bigger stone and held it back. That stone also missed. Hopeless you hairy long nosed nerd. Hold the second monster and he threw back a rock which knocked the top of the mountain. You're just a stupid, you're just a stupid old Winfield prune, shouted the first monster as he heaved a bolt that knocked another piece off the mountain. And you're a bandy legged soggy cockroach, replied the second monster. This time he kicked a huge rock just for a change. As the day passed, the rocks grew bigger and bigger, and the insults grew longer and longer. Both of the monsters remained untouched, but the mountain was being knocked to pieces. You're a hairy, un overstuffed, empty-headed, but I mess! shouted the first monster as he threw yet another massive boulder. You are pathetic, animal brain, smelly, nearly leather, cast and tart, screamed the second monster, hurling a yet larger rock. That rock finally smashed the last of the mountain and for the first 
for the very first time the monsters saw each other. This happened at the beginning of another sunset. Incredible, said the first monster putting down the rock he was holding. Then night arriving. You were right. Amazing, gasped the second monster, dropping his folder. You were right. It is day leaving. They walked to the middle of the mess they had made to watch the arrival of the night and the departure of the day together. That was rough. That was rather fun, giggled the first monster. Yes, wasn't it? Chuckled the second. Think about the mountain. The end, and I and I hope I read this bedtime story to Amelia soon and Tabitha. Lots of love from John. Um, Muddy and Ruby. Wait. They're coming in my belly. Belly. Hello. Hello. It's me with the belly, not John, by the way. Oh. So you're no, I've got a belly too, but. <laughs> <laughs>